welcome to whatever this is, my new experiment that I'm trying out. I'm trying lots of new things right now. So, what am I doing? What's the plan? Where are we going to go? Why are there only three worlds? I know what you're thinking. Everyone's freaking out about the new pack. Everyone's downloaded it. Everyone's got glitches for days. So why the hell are we playing just base game? Well, the answer to that is, I genuinely love The Sims. I genuinely love The Sims 4. I think it is actually a pretty good incarnation of the game. As someone who's played literally every single Sims game. It's pretty good. I don't... I play the same stuff over and over again. There's things I definitely like that I play. There's things I don't like that I avoid. I don't explore very much. I've been playing this game since it came out. And I don't actually think I've ever broken into the secret lot in Oasis Springs. So, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to take all this excitement, all this joy, and maybe some of this frustration at our latest incarnation of an aging monstrosity. Let's have a, let's remember why we play this game in the first place. Just base game. That's crazy. I it was really hard to make a good looking sim, and honestly, probably the only reason I did is because they added all this stuff way later. This game, this game came, came out, out in 2014. When? Where were we in 2014? Things weren't that bad yet. I mean, they weren't great. They've never been great. I can't believe this game came out in 2014. I feel like it came out like 2009. I guess it's 2022. How many years is that? Eight? Eight years? I feel like this game is a decade old. Which, what I mean by that is obviously stuff they've added since then. And I'm not just going to... I'm not just going to enjoy base game, obviously. We're going to start there. We're, we've made this lovely sim. We're at these lovely houses. It won't let me look at them because we haven't placed her yet. But my goal with this is to follow generations of Sims. I love playing generationally. Oh, it's such a delight. To follow this Sim and her hopefully many, many descendants. We'll figure out the details on that later. Follow their lives through the expansion pack. And the game packs, and maybe some of the stuff packs, and I don't know, whatever all other bullshit that they put out. I don't know if I should swear. This game feels so PG. I'm not gonna swear. Is that a smart idea? You tell me if I'm allowed to swear or not. I feel like I'm not. The videos I watch, I feel like no one swears. Does Kelsey and Peaches may swear? I feel like I've heard her say the fuck word. So yeah, so where are we starting? We're starting with base game. We're starting with, I've already forgotten her name. I made her. I literally just named her and I could not tell you what her name is. We are going to start with base game. I have a list of requirements. There are challenges people have made um, to do like an EP legacy or play through all the game packs or whatever. And I have borrowed from some of them. Uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to force myself to play things I normally haven't played to not do get to work and do the scientist career. I do the scientist career every time. It's the most fun career. I don't know why you wouldn't do the scientist career. I don't want to just make everyone a werewolf. I mean, we're going to, I guess we're going to get to werewolves eventually. So eventually someone will be a werewolf, but I don't, I don't want to play the same way I have been playing. I want to force myself to step outside of my comfort zone. I have all of my mods turned off. I uh, will see if that lasts. I don't know if I can survive without MC Command Center, but I have no mods currently in this game. I have turned off all mods because I just want to play the game as intended. Which sounds crazy. No one ever plays The Sims as intended. It's just not. It's a game made to be played however you want. There's no right or wrong way to play The Sims. Here's the dealio. So we're starting with lovely 
whatever her name is. I already forgot. Don't worry about it. We'll fi- we'll learn. We're going to say her name. I sort of debated where to start. I wasn't 100% sure the best world. Here's why I chose Oasis Springs. One, I love it. I think Oasis Springs is amazing. I love this little dinosaur neighborhood. It's so cute and fun. I was sort of working on an Oasis Springs rebuild in another save file. And I was pulling references from Palm Springs and Southwestern towns. I myself am from Texas, which I don't live in the desert part of Texas, but I sort of love the desert. My birthday trip last year was to New Mexico. It's just, I don't know. There's something really beautiful about it uh, that I really like. So I want to start here because I like it. I think it's cool. These are not a lot of the townies I generally play with. Um, not not really a land grab person. I, I've played with Zoe Patel a lot. She, she's made her way into a number of my uh, save games. The house is hideous. I don't understand it, nor do I like it, but we'll come back around to that. Caliente's obviously classic Don Lothario welcome but they, i don't know they're not the most thrilling folks to me willow creek meanwhile the louisiana bayou beautiful to look at it's not really bayou i guess there's kind of an implied bayou out here it, it's louisiana based um this is more the south that i'm from lots of beautiful shotgun homes lots of people i just I think are kind of neat. I like the uh, Kim Lewis household. Goths, obviously. Bella Goth, iconic of the series. Uh, pancakes. Ugh, I love the pancakes. I love them so much. BFFs, I eh, take them or leave them. But they, you know, they, they add a little bit of flavor. There's some single sims walking around. New Crest, totally blank. But I've actually played in it a lot. I've played in it a ton. Um, I tend to put when I'm, when I'm building my own neighborhoods, like building my with my own sims from the ground up to make these storylines, tend to put them in here, I guess, because it's blank. Uh, I've also been trying to teach myself to build more and more. So I've spent a lot of time where there are already empty houses. So I don't want to start there. It just seems like a waste of my time. But let's start... Where should we start? Nookstone, Sand Trap Bot, Gave Abode. Start. I like. I'll start in the middle. Sand trap flat. I like that. I think I've lived here before. Nice big backyard. I think the actual house is pretty small. It's mostly this section. Let's let's go ahead and get in there. Morgan. That's right. I want to give her kind of a gender neutral name. I just a fan of those. There she is. Gorgeous. In front of her new home. Just sit together. Oh, it's a little. Oh right. I don't have. Se- I was about to say it's a little overcast. I don't currently have seasons. So it wouldn't be overcast. It's just going to be bright, sunny days from here on out. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. This actually, I maybe should have made her with more of the desert in mind. Uh, change the outfit. Yeah, she's a little uh, cool weather. But, you know, it'll be fine. Right, we don't... Hmm. Interesting. I didn't think about the weather aspect at all. I'm so used to playing with seasons. Anyway, let's hang out here for a second. Morgan is going to be the start of our shiny new legacy. Sorry about me. Let me look at her. She's cute. I don't give her any freckles. I love giving my sons freckles. Oh my god, who is that? Should you say hi? Is that Bella Goth? I forgot. I actually haven't played with the redesigned ones. Friendly introduction. Oh, I don't have any of my mods. I use the uh, first impressions mod. One of the best mods. Yeah, uh, cannot cannot say enough. Download the first impressions mod. Ranga. Bella. Bella is absolutely. Oh, hey, Liberty. Liberty, come say hi. So Willow Creek people. No, she's. No, she's Willow Creek. Bella is absolutely the kind of person that would wear makeup while working out. Wow, she's bored of me. Wow, she hates my guts. Don, hello. I didn't. The sexuality options are so new. I have not gotten used to them yet. Oh yeah, we have our new interface. Zombo Skiba, Zuba Tube, Love. Liberty's reading a book like a dork. Oh, bye, bye. 
Benja. Yeah, everyone go home. Ah, so so. Okay, we haven't even looked inside the house yet. Let's look. Gord, it's sad. Should we do like a quick makeover? Makeover, makeover. I don't remember the song. Makeover, 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 makeover. How does that look? I feel like it's still not pretty, but I also feel like I cannot struggle with this any longer. We have stuff to do. We got people to meet. It's not pretty, but I think I'm going to have to be happy with it. Why are you wearing this outfit, young lady? I can't even talk to you right now. I have to find a job. Let's find a job. So what are we going to do? What is Morgan going to be? Let's see. Astronaut, athlete I've done, business I've done, criminal I've done, culinary I've done, entertainer I actually don't think, no, nope. I've done. Freelancer I don't get. I don't really like him. Painter, actually I haven't done secret agent. Oh, I didn't realize style influencer was basically. That was a city of living thing. That doesn't matter. Tucker, actually I haven't done the whole thing. Writer, I can't remember if I've done that or not. And then all these. I was going to go astronaut for a number of reasons. Number one, I don't think I've done it. I think I've done part of it, but I've not completed the total of it. Space Ranger or Interstellar Smuggler. Seems like a real Space Ranger. The other one is Secret Agent. And now that I'm looking at Secret Agent, would Secret Agent be better? Diamond Agent and Villain. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Astronaut has more prestige. We build a rocket ship. We can go to Sixum. Can we go to Sixum and base? We can't go to Sixum and base game, can we? That's a that's a later thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love aliens. I mean, we won't have aliens because it's base game. But you know, I actually because I've done rocket ships stuff. So let's do secret agent. Let's do it. Your co-workers with Bella. Oh, I'm a secret agent now. She did a little face. She was like, sneaky now. Look at her. Alright, when's Johnny gonna show up? So we get her this telescope. A, because it's cool. We have him now. Took us forever. Liberty, are you back over here? Liberty, go home. We have the new fears and want some. Don't stumble for four hours. I also gave her the clumsy tray because I haven't really used that before. Ah, oh, Johnny's finally shown up. Knock, knock, knock. Night neighbors in. Got my introduction. Done gloomy. Done bookworm. They're not the best. Um, and then I gave her the nerd brain aspiration because I haven't completed that yet either. I kind of avoid handiness. I don't. It's. I never get it. We you look silly. Johnny, what are you up to? Please. Just thinking for coming. Let's discuss different authors. Get to know. Oh, that's where get to know went. That's good to know. Yeah. Let's make him sad. Ah. Garsha. Huh? Oh, Garsha. Oh, cry, Johnny, cry. Onto McGlaffy. <laughs> what do we need to do with our lives? We need to reach Schemes level three logic. Zabula. We need to finish uh? reading three books. Well, we can do all that here, at least. Oh, no, it's a, it's it's interesting. I hate this detail. And I see other people do this. I hate the fire alarm over the stove. It would be going off constantly. We're moving that. We're going to put it over here. <laughs> it will matter. Oh, yeah, they're all looking at their phones now. At least I changed my phone case. So it's pretty. Ah, she be Jabina. I don't know how to stop. Oh, oh, I have to gain more handed skill to avoid stumbling. I didn't know that. 
Oleg Cried Zerm. out, being gloomy. Zombus. Well, I'm not gloomy right now. Oh, can a game? <laughs> oh, move. Verpasa Essenoi. We... Trofa. Bahushu Foibi. We do. Okay. Thank you, Johnny. This was great. Trina died. Send everyone home. Ravuda. I don't know if I'm a big Johnny fan. He's fine. I mean, he's fine. So we can do all this stuff here. But that'd be a little boring, right? You don't play The Sims, just like sit in your house all day. I mean, sometimes you do. Oh my god. Why are there so many people? Let's put that in toy. So goals with Morgan. Obviously, we're going to reach the top of our career. I didn't mean to hit the map button. I'll do this a lot. I accidentally hit the map button. Let's, oh, shoot. There's not a library right here. I usually go to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar first to just to meet people. But I feel like we met a lot of people. Solar Flare Lounge. Oh, you know what? They have the Desert Bloom... Place. Let's head there. Let's just, you know, walk around, meet some people. It's very funny that I don't have seasons turned on and I put her in the middle of the desert. I fully anticipated that we would be in hot weather wear this whole time. You can put her in her hot weather wear. Just like thematic. Nope, that put her in the cold wow. weather wear. Huh. It's just like thematically. It's not the most interesting. Sorry, I did what I could. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. Let's go read a book, I guess. Read. 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 Yeah, let's read a romance. Let's get romantic up in here. Okay, so goals with Morgan. Number one. Reach the top of her career. We'll probably not go super villain. I think she's a little too sweet for that clumsy and gloomy bookworm. I just I don't think she has it. Look at look at that face. That is not the face of a super villain. She's a sweetheart. Finish the aspiration. I probably won't switch between aspirations. I don't know if I don't know what's normal. Okay, well we'll just not read a book. That's fine too. Why would you read a book? Who's talking to me? Olivia. Olivia, where even are you? Okay. Who would have a fucking foyer in here? Just read something. Who cares about Olivia? I don't. Okay, Morgan. Other goals. Finish this. I probably won't switch between aspirations. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know. I don't know how most people play because I don't normally care, but I've been engaging more in other people's stuff Aww. and I have seen different ways people play things. I just, I don't know. I used to play in Legacies and in Legacies, I don't think you're supposed to switch between the aspiration until you're done with it. Um... So I usually stick with one. We might switch around a little bit if we need some aspiration points or uh, satisfaction points or whatever. The other thing that we're going to do, we're going to have a baby, probably. Yeah, I'll give her a baby. Just one. Or I don't know more. I don't know if she's... I don't know how... I want to continue the bloodline. Stop putting fires on. We live in the fucking desert. All right, I am going to swear. I, I can't stop myself from swearing. Can you guys? All right, just read a book. That's fine. I want to marry and have the child of a townie. An NPC. I don't know who it will be. Johnny is there. Uh, maybe we can marry Liberty or one of the BFFs. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have anyone in mind at this moment. Morgan is bisexual, most likely. She's definitely not straight. That's for dang sure. 
So, yeah, she might have multiple romances. We might seduce one of these losers walking around. But I thought it would be fun if we continue the we, we squeeze other people into the family. However that happens. I just I I don't know. It's always fun to marry a recognizable face. It's, it's like marrying a celebrity in The Sims, except it's totally worthless. So I, I haven't figured out what her deal is, who she likes, what she's all about. Morgan was kind of just created to see that we can make a cute looking Sim with just face skin. I think she's pretty cute. I love her eyebrows. She's got a little face. She's got a little body. She's got a little bit of hair. Painted her nails. She read a book! Morgan! You did it! You did what I cannot do, which is read a book! Should we work on handiness? We should work on logic. That's what we should work on. Liberty, you're here. You're... Oh, no. She's leaving. Let's go play. Okay. I really we could be friends with Liberty. She seems cool. So obviously, we're going to go down the line of the expansion packs. So each generation will in investigate and experience a different pack. So now we're just base game. Her children will then go to get to work, get together, discover university, all down the line. I know I skipped some in there. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll remember them later. Um, I think game packs Mech. I will probably Mech. keep to the side <laughs> oh, since they're not usually yeah, full of enough too. gameplay uh -huh. for a whole generation. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I've been going ham on oh. werewolves. I love the werewolves. Can't <laughs> express enough how much I love the werewolves. Oh. Miss them already. So yeah, there might be there might be other stuff to play with. Yes, but play. we're just going to focus oh. on the expansion packs. So once... Oh, no. Morgan's child reaches of age to be determined. Probably a young adult in this one. Uh, we will send them out to the world. So obviously, get to work. Does introduce a new world, but it's a shopping world. And... Oh, no, we're talking now. Let's be a friend. Let's take a selfie with Liberty. So yeah, some of these sims might be dead <laughs> by the time we get around to it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Alexander God, depending how quickly we get knocked up, maybe Alexander Goth will be our future. This isn't a selfie. Oh, I could, I, cl I clicked take selfie and I, there's no known sims around or photograph. Well, that's not true. Oh. Okay, well, boo on you, this band group. What time is it? 4.59? Let's do some introductions. Is that Katrina Caliente? Schmezel Tambra. Schmezel She's sad. I'm sad. Let's share a really cool talk. Maybe she'll appreciate it. Why are you sad? Are you gloomy? No, come back. All right, no one wants to hang out with me. And you know what? That's fair. What if we steal Jeffrey Landgrab? What if we get knocked out by him? Would I want to? I don't think I would. Maybe there's a Don Lothario in our future. Let's see. There's all the Calientes. It's me. It's Johnny. There's four eligible hotties in this house right here. And, of course, we could sneak over to Willow Creek, because, like I said, they'll all be gone by the time my children... Well, they won't be gone, gone, but they won't be marriageable by the time my children are around. So maybe we, you know, maybe we snag up a Bob Pancakes, you know? He's a hunk. Maybe we do a summer, or steal Bella Goth away from Mortimer. I couldn't do that. That, that would hurt too much.
What if I just like, I'm just gonna toss out a toy. Just like, oh my God. He touch his arm. Oh, 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 we're in. He liked it. He this is kind of, this is very loosey goosey play as I go. I don't want to drown myself in rules or make anything too rigid, but I do want to have goals. I love having goals. I love completing goals. I should eat something. No, why would I make a drink? Oh, I can only grab chips. There's so many things I didn't know were base game or like weren't base game. I can only eat chips. All right, who is interesting here? Pierre, I like that name. Jeffrey, friendly introduction. Beckham, friendly introduction. Let's just get to know people. I like knowing people. Who is that? Who is interesting? Forest Curry. Gonna come join it. Ooh, is he a little snooty? He a little snooty? Forest Curry? It's kind of interesting face. Why will no one let me get to know them? Oh my god, Katrina's still sad. Why is Katrina so sad? Did someone die? Oh my god. I feel like everyone's leaving me. I have to get up pretty early for work anyway. So, you know, let's swing by the roomies household. They're not our neighbors, but they might be something. Knock on door. This house is so weird. Friendly introduction. Friendly introduction. I'm a big Mitchell Kalani fan. Oh, are we coworkers? Oh, dag dag. Ah, so. So. Can Kubu Koiba? Oh, yips. Oh, yips. Uh huh. I think they're all bros, which is really funny. Oh boy, Zarp. Fadish. I actually love the bro trait. One of my top five traits for sure. You had two bros marry each other. That was the best in thing in the world. Lombic. Perno Ooks. With a charm. Have a neat who intro. I don't know. I haven't really messed around with the new sexuality options. Arabeth. She didn't. Just, that felt like the most awkward. All right. That was a bad time. I feel like he. Oh, oh. I feel like Mitchell's embarrassed for me. Let's, let's ask about it. Let's, you know, I'm sorry. I got too close too fast. I was just curious. Gossip. Where are we watching? Anyway, Gavin, you sleep. I can't do anything with Gavin because I had a boss named Gavin. That's just too weird for me. And then we'll send ourselves off to work. You know, this place doesn't look too. It's brighter. That's for dang sure. It doesn't look that bad. Let's just go to sleep. I have to remember to get curtains for my Sims. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping through the night. Did we make any progress on anything today? Let's have a quick meal. Have a quick meal cereal. Have we made any progress? I feel like Liberty likes us a little bit. Johnny likes us a little bit. Bella and Mitchell are okay on us. Everyone else seems to just acknowledge that we exist. Which, right now, I give her cute little glasses for going to bed in. She wears contacts during the day. There we go. We could definitely use some art in here. Maybe some plants. <sighs> now she's off to work. So we're going to send her off to work. We're also going to... Did I break it? Obviously, I still broke it. She looks so cute in her little outfit. Uh, wait, I'm gonna say work card. We didn't browse intelligence. I never do that shit. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're, I feel like we've made a lot. We read one book. We have one level of logic skill, which isn't a lot. But we have the, the telescopes. Maybe tonight we'll do some stargazing. 
Oh, she's feeling bad. Okay, so I feel like this was a bad start to a lot of things. She's not looking happy. It's okay. Miku. You know, we gotta start somewhere. So we I'm gonna send Morgan. I'm gonna get her to watch some TV. Now she's a little sad. She's a little tense from work. We made really good progress. I have to work hard tomorrow. We'll still get it. She needs a shower. She needs a lot of things. I'm gonna leave Morgan here. She will chill for just a little while. We'll get her freshened up and we'll come back and who's coming to say hello? Edgar Calloway. Anyway. Ignore him. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe next time we'll focus on making a friend, making a lover, making a career. So, yeah. This is part one of what's going to be a long ass series as long as I don't get distracted, which I love to do. So, we'll see what happens next in the adventures of Morgan and her terrible, terrible social life. Bye!